hearing this, it means you were lucky enough not to get blown up, crushed to pieces, or anything else that would completely ruin the last five years I just spent working on you. Nobody ever tells someone like me about a mission like yours, but whatever you're supposed to find, it's big. And it's here. I've gone ahead without you. You cost more than the ship that brought us here. So I doubt I'll be able to get to wherever you're supposed to go. But maybe I'll find some other survivors. It'd be nice to talk to someone who isn't a machine before it's all over. Seems like a better idea than just sitting here at least. Still, if you want to say goodbye, I'll probably be the dead body just outside the door. I'm sorry about all this, pal. Last night was the first time I've even been to the command deck. Seems like everyone on this trip is some kind of a VIP. Generals, scientists, engineers, and a bunch of other people talking about how important you guys are, but who would never actually take a job watching over you. I left after a few minutes. I could tell people were uncomfortable with me being there. I know nobody trusts me. I know nobody thinks I can do anything. People have looked through me my entire life. But if you can understand this recording, maybe those people will finally know they were wrong.
captain told me nobody was upset. But it was definitely making the crew uncomfortable to have you walk around the ship. Making eye contact, greeting them, doing everything else that I've taught you to do. Figures that I would go through all this trouble to bring you to life, only to have you end up with a life just like mine. The senior scientists came down last night and took out the mod. Or at least they thought they did. They wanted to know how a night watchman like me could have managed to upload a personality layer onto something as sophisticated as you. I guess complicated people have a way of overlooking the simplest things. The last one to leave gave me a look, like he knew better though. So I've decided to power you down for the rest of the trip. Once you're on your own, I hope what I've done will help you. It's only other people who make it difficult to be different. Without them around, being yourself can be a good thing. guesses we both made it at least this far. I don't know what in the world is going on here, but we definitely aren't alone. You see that thing in the distance? That signal tower? It must be where the transmission is coming from. I'm going to get as far as I can and then set up camp for the night. I don't even have the energy to walk much further. Never mind trying to fight whatever pours out of this place when the sun goes down. If I don't see you by tomorrow, I guess you're not coming.